Utoni believes regional and local authorities can provide services such as proper housing, sanitation and service land if it generates enough money through rates and taxes. People in the settlement also need to pay for the services that are being rendered there, isn't it? And it's the rural areas that we need to focus more. In terms of sanitation, because if we develop those areas, then we cut the movement of our people into urban areas. So let's work hard to develop the constituencies. The minister also used the platform to call on councillors to be innovative and come up with proposals that would benefit the communities. What I'm analyzing from you, my dear leaders, it's a kind of dependency syndrome. The thinking is just depending on the ministry. Even the decision that you're supposed to take for your community. I could see a lot of things that does not even require a ministry's intervention. It's your own intervention. I said, people are sleeping. Please, let's innovate. On his part, Ochozonjupa Governor James Wirikwa called for unity and teamwork amongst councillors and administrators. I am calling upon all of us as a people to be serving this country without any partiality, without any prejudice, without any ethnic tendencies. We must move away from that. That as a people, we may be coming from various political parties. We may be coming from various backgrounds. We may be having different interests. But when you are a servant of the people and you are sitting in a leadership role, it is expected that the, the interest of the people take supremacy. The five-day workshop is aimed at assisting newly elected councillors and administrators with the knowledge of government policies as well as legal, institutional and administrative frameworks within their jurisdictions. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Ochiwarongo.